hey guys and welcome back to beast kitchen i hope everyone is keeping well and safe on the menu today i am going to show you how i made this pot of fresh tilapia soup this soup was requested by my husband i am sharing it with my lovely subscribers and viewers so you guys can enjoy it with your friends and family stay with me and let's get started for the tilapia soup recipe i am going to use the following ingredient in this bowl i have my fresh tilapia this has been descaled cut into pieces and also cleaned with lemon water i have red bell pepper onion fresh tomatoes scotch bonnet feel free to use less or more depending on how spicy you want your soup to be i have my tolobifi and this has been soaked overnight to remove any excess salt and throughout the day i have changed the water three times i have ginger garlic onion scotch bonnet tomato puree and finally i have my chopped shallot i will list all the ingredients used in this recipe in the description box below I am now going to blend the ingredients which I will be using to season the tilapia. So in my blender I have added the onion, in goes the scotch bonnet, in goes the garlic and finally I will be adding the ginger with a little bit of water and I will blend this till smooth. I am now going to add the blended mixture to the tilapia. Next, I'm going to season the tilapia. Feel free to add your preferred seasonings. I am now going to mix everything together and ensure that the tilapia is well coated in the marinade and also the seasoning is because tilapia is freshwater fish and it requires it to be well seasoned in order for it to bring out the flavour of the fish. I am now going to cover the tilapia using clean film. I will refrigerate it for three hours to ensure that the tilapia is well seasoned. You can also leave it overnight. I am now going to blend the rest of the ingredients which I will be using to make the soup. So in my blender I have added the fresh tomatoes, I will add the onions, scotch bonnet, red bell pepper, garlic, ginger and I will add a little bit of water. I will blend this till smooth and I will set it aside for later use. Now let's get started on making the soup. So in my pot, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Next, I'm going to allow the oil to come to heat. As the oil has come to heat, I've just added my shallot and I'm going to fry this until fragrant and translucent. I am now going to add the tollo beef and I'll simmer this on low to medium heat for three minutes. This will allow the tollo beef to release its beautiful and delicious flavor. Now guys, tollo beef makes the perfect meat as a base for this soup because it doesn't have any strong meaty flavors and also is being well cured and preserved. I purchased the tollo beef from my local Ghanaian supermarket. I am now going to add the tomato puree to the tolo beef and the shallot. 
I'm going to mix everything together and allow this to simmer for two minutes. Oh my goodness, this smells so good already. Tolo beef is just the best. I am now going to add the blended tomatoes, scotch bonnet, garlic, ginger, and the red bell pepper, and I'm going to mix everything together. Next, I'll be adding my seasonings. As I've added all my seasonings, I'm just going to mix everything together. I'll cover and allow this to simmer on low to medium heat for five minutes. Guys, if I tell you the aroma coming from this pot, my goodness. I have just added enough water as I'm making soup. I'll give it a good mix, cover and bring this to a boil. As the soup has come to a boil, now time to add the tilapia. As I've added all the tilapia, I'm adding the remaining marinade from the fish. I will also rinse the bowl with a little bit of water and add it to the soup. I am now going to gently mix everything together. Guys, be very careful when you're mixing the soup because you don't want the tilapia to break. Now this step is entirely optional, I've just added bits of spell, also known as papuchito, and I'm giving the soup a gentle mix. I'm going to cover and simmer this on low to medium heat for 10 minutes. Also guys, don't forget to taste and adjust seasonings if needed. And that's it guys, the fresh tilapia soup is ready. Now, if I tell you the aroma coming from this pot, my goodness, you would not believe it. This soup is versatile. You can have it with a full, you can have it with rice, you can have it on its own if you want to. Guys, you have to try this recipe. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. I really do appreciate you guys. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment below subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so and turn on your bell notification icon which will notify you every time i post a new video as always i'll see you next time enjoy your fresh tilapia soup bye